Shalom. This is my first video. <clears throat> and I also I wanted to just point out that here we have insect ally programs. It says scientists fear Pentagon's insect allies may be used as bioweapons. You know how you have scientists who work for the government or like in a movie, they work for like the evil genius. <coughs> Excuse me. And here they're showing you that the insects that are being used to insert the virus into crops, they claim it enhances plants. A virus enhances. These people, we call them devils. These devils, they are in constant transgression. You must open your eyes and pay attention to the real news. Sometimes they'll show it. This is RT. RT tends to show the other side of the world information. So if they catch something on their radar that's, you know, like, important, like a bioweapon, they'll make news of it. So I follow a little bit of this and a little bit of that to make sure I can connect the dots behind the smoke and the mares. Um, I just found it interesting that they'll announce it. Um, I can probably show a little bit of it, <clears throat> but not too much of it. Or to flooding. But scientists say it's like opening a Pandora's box, which once open could lead to unpredictable consequences. They suspect that the gene engineering could lead to unforeseen mutations, potentially making plants carcinogenic. The insects themselves could prove hard to control, and there's also the fear that it's a route towards biological warfare, which is forbidden by the Biological Weapons Convention. Well, if the Biological Weapons Convention has something to say about it, because they noticed that the ingredients that they're using to enhance plants <laughs> is really, you know, a cover up for making biological weapons. I mean, we just seen the hurricane come through in North Carolina and it's been talks about a new strand of mosquitoes in the area. So the people have to be, be on a lookout for things like this. I just wanted to put that out there. Shalom.